Hello everyone, welcome to VB Advanced. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can hide uh, Microsoft Excel to give your uh, model uh, application look. So hiding up uh, Excel means that uh, the Excel worksheet will not be visible to the user. So let's look at the commands. First, the first command is application.visible. It is either true or false. Then I will talk about the event query close and then the first is activate and then query close and then I will talk about property show model and one and the last I will talk about what this will do application dot enable cancel key so let's go to excel open it up you can notice that uh, I have this user form but there is no excel in the background so if I click on view Excel, you can see Excel window appears. And if I say hide Excel, the Excel window hide. So let's go to Excel and see how this is done. Let's go to Visual Basic. And let's go to Code of User Form. So you can see there are two commands button. One will hide excel application and the other will show the so first is application dot visible is equal to false when the application visibility is false excel will hide hide itself and the when application is visible excel uh, menus and sheet will be uh, viewable by the user so this is a simple command one hides and the other displays at microsoft excel application so let's see uh, all right and you can see that when i go to this workbook uh, whenever this workbook opens user one user form one will show and then i have this close uh, uh, label over here what this label will do if i go to its code it says user form one dot hide so when you hide it you can go to application and then um, uh, I want to talk about uh, the property of not uh, this label but user form one. So I click on user form one. I have this property of user form one. Let me go. To, let me zoom out. Yeah. So uh, if you can, if you will notice, there will be a property of user form one. Yeah. Here, here it is now. That is show model this is right now true if i say show model false this will may, maybe hang a bit for me but i have to show what this property does you should know, be knowing about this if i run this now so you can see i have this user form i can drag around it but i can let me get back to model property but first look at the query close okay in the query close uh, query close is the event uh, that can be chosen for user form query close and what uh, this is the programming of the closing button on the user form let me tell you this cross button i am going to code the event when i click on this button this is query close so if i when i click on this this will run what will happen is uh, uh, it will not automatically close this button now first uh, this will hide the user form then it will wait for one second and then it will show it again so uh, uh, what this exactly means so let's close our workbook and reopen it what if i click on this uh, close button my user form doesn't close whatever i do this is because when i try to close this very quickly this user form hides then the application wait for one second and then the user form again show itself so this is useful when you don't want the user to go to 
Excel application or the user can change the sheet. So you can use this um, uh, QD close by uh, by simple uh, manipulation that is hide, wait and then display it again. But there is one another thing. There is a catch. If you press control C or control break or if you keep pressing uh, the escape key, Microsoft Excel will understand that you will you are trying to stop the running macro or the code. In that case, uh, the user will be given an option that you want to debug, continue, end. So if you want that control C or escape key or control break doesn't work, you have to use this command. That is application dot enable uh, Excel key is disabled and at the end because uh, definitely uh, this is as a standard is enabled. So you have to uh, before quitting the, your code you have to enable it back. So this is good programming. So with use of this command application dot enable Excel key disabled and enabled you and control the use of control C, control break, or the escape key. I hope there is uh, you, you would you have understand how to use uh, uh, query close because query close is very helpful when you don't want you, your user to go to the cheat level because when we talk about a database, database doesn't allow the users to go to to the tables. In databases, user have to work on the forms. They, they are not allowed to go and change the tables. So uh, that's why these commands and these uh, simple tips are very important. So let's go and talk about model. All right. So in this model, I have a user form. Uh, this is the user form and let me show it so if i have this user form and i want to click on anywhere on this sheet i cannot make any changes if i want to work on this uh, worksheet i have to first close the user form this model property if turns to if you can see this you can't see it okay so if you change this model property to false If you turn this property to false, and in if you run your macro now, and I have this user form here, and if you want to change the contents of this cell, I can do this. Okay. Gen generally, the standard is the standard is that uh, uh, you cannot change the uh, the worksheet once the uh, once your uh, user form is appearing so first you have to close your user form and then you can uh, go and change your worksheet but this is a property that you should be knowing that this exists and this should always be kept true or false as per the requirement so i hope that uh, you get the grasp of this concept which uh, revolved around the uh, visibility of Excel application and how to uh, control the the X that closes the user form and how to activate it, what is show model and how to enable or disable the control C, control break or the escape key. So if you find this video helpful, think about giving this video thumbs up.